In this video, we're going to do a basic overview of the YAG Tracker APRS terminal. The uh, YAG Tracker is based on an ARM7 processor. It has a built in codec based 1200 baud TNC for both transmit and receive. The LCD is a 64 by 128 pixel graphical LCD. The YAG Tracker will accept any common serial 4800 baud. Uh, GPS and MEA data and it has a rotary encoder for navigation. This rotary encoder is used in several different ways. Sometimes it's used for simply just switching the view of the screen that you're currently looking at. It can also be used to switch screens and it can be used for menu selection. For example, if I press in the knob, I have a pop-up menu that comes up. The blue button is a uh, beacon button. It can also act as an escape to escape out of a menu. On the YAG Tracker we've got some standard screens that come with the standard firmware. This screen is the main power on screen. As packets are received you'll see the call sign and any other information associated with the with the station. You can always use the rotary encoder to roll back through the last eight stations displayed and you always have the latest packet for viewing if I press in the knob and turn to the next screen this is the station list this is where you can see all stations that you've received and it can be sorted either by distance time or alphabetically Going to the next screen, this is what we call the trackback screen that allows you to select the station that you would like to track back to. This is easily done by clicking in, going to any station, and selecting the station at which you would like to track. For example, we could select this station here. Going on to the next screen, this is the messaging screen. And on this screen, you can see all messages between you and somebody else, as well as all other messages going through the network. The next screen is the plot screen. This, this screen allows you to see all the other stations around you in reference to where you're at. You're in the middle. There's also various information widgets that can be displayed around the corner, around the corners of the screen and these can be toggled off and on. The last screen is the raw packet screen where you can view an actual packet, the raw packet as it's received before anything has been done, any processing or anything. This is uh, very handy for being able to see which digipeter is digipeting what packet uh, as well as seeing any information in the packet that may not have been displayed on the home screen.